Hello and welcome to the Red Devil Avenue. Today we're going to talk about a center back that has been linked to United the last 48 hours, Sean Clare Todibo, if that is how you pronounce it, I'm actually not sure. Most people probably know uh, this defender from Football Manager where he has been like a huge talent for many years, but he's, in fact he's much more than just a Football Manager talent. So in this video we're going to compare him to uh, Rafael Varane and uh, Lisandro Martinez and see what kind of defender would we actually get. Uh, in Todibo were he to sign for us. So Todibo is a 23 year old uh, defender uh, from uh, Nice in France, uh, French League One and he has been there for a couple of years. Uh, he has played for Barcelona and he has really developed a name for himself in Europe. As of right now there are no concrete talks or any bids gone in for the player but Manchester United has requested to get information regarding uh, any conditions that would like be uh, important uh, if there were to be more concrete talks later. Uh, the potential signing of Todibo will also be uh, very reliant on if Harry Maguire were to leave, which uh, is very um, very likely after the news that come out today that West Ham has put in a 60 million pound bid for uh, Scott McTominay and Harry Maguire in the combined uh, purchase. So if that were the case that uh, Maguire actually leaves, I think Todibo is gonna be a very viable option for us. But why is he actually an, even an option for Ten Hag and would he fit the playstyle that, uh, that we want to play? That is what you're gonna look into right now. If Todibo comes in, he will most likely be, um, be seen as a competitor for Varane on, uh, for that right centre-back spot. I don't think anyone would argue that Lisandro Martinez has made that left centre-back uh, spot uh, for, uh, like, uh, his, uh, like, for his position. Uh, so I think it would be like to compete with Varane and I think that he could even like be able to break into the first team because Varane he's been good but I've already seen people trying to like say that he needs to be upgraded I don't really agree that he himself needs to be upgraded but I think like having some like healthy competition is very good anyway so let's look at numbers Ten Hag wants to have a center back who is able to play high up the pitch and press very early when the opposition have the ball uh, he also need them to be quick so he can cover the pace behind uh, in case that the ball over the top comes. Um, so, if we look at the numbers, uh, when you look at the pure passing stats, uh, Todibo is actually in the 88 percentile uh, of the defenders in Europe when it comes to passing accuracy. He has uh, 68 passes per 90 minutes, uh, while Martinez has 86 percentile with. Uh, 67 passes per 90 minutes and Varane is in the 49 percentage with 52 passes per 90 minutes. Um, this really shows that Todibo he has the passing quality that is needed you know for at least uh, keeping the ball in the team and not like trying to like shoot it over the defensive line like you know like the prime Solskjaer football style so I'm very glad that he will have that in the locker. But of course when it comes to passing stats you cannot only look at the accuracy when it goes sideways and backwards. We also need to look into how, how good is it when it comes to the progressive passes. That means like passes that breaks the first line, that goes up the pitch and really initiates the attack. When it comes to pure passing accuracy, he has a passing accuracy of 88.5% uh, while um, Martinez has 87% and Varane has 86.6%. When it comes to the progressive passes, uh, Todibo is in the 88 percentile, which is very good, with 4.8 uh, progressive passes per 90 minutes. Uh, uh, Martinez has 3.96 per 90 minutes and Varane has only 3.23 passes, uh, progressive passes per 90 minutes. As you can see, there is some. Uh, it's very clear uh, his skill set here. He will be able to pass the ball accurately up the pitch, uh, just like Martinez does. He does it better than Varane, uh, but of course, Varane, Varane has his own skills that is uh, lacking in Todibo. We're also gonna look a bit into that very quickly. But if you're gonna look into the strength that he has versus the cons, pace. He's, he's a very quick center back. Uh, he has the ability to cover the gr cover ground quickly. He can uh, run back and cover ground if someone were to like break the line with like a long pass over the top or uh, along the ground. Um, so that will absolutely be no issue. 
Tackling, of course, uh, is superb. He's up in the 80 and 90 percentile when it comes to like all of the most uh, most important defensive actions during the game. Uh, also, when it comes to the passing, of course, is very good, like we all looked into. When it comes to uh, uh, his comms, what's well, not that good, it might not be very important because when it comes to like a defender, the most important thing is, of course, to clean the clean sheets. But when it comes to like actually providing goals and assists, he's actually one of the worst when it comes to uh, well, at least. Uh, among the, defend the defenders in Europe. Uh, his expected uh, goals is 0 0.03 uh, per 90 minutes and his expected assist is 0 0.01 per 90 minutes which means that he is in both of these two he is in the bottom uh, 15 or 20 percentile. He's also a bit on the weaker side when it comes to his aerial uh, duels. He's a very tall player, he's very strong and therefore it surprises me that he is not uh, better with his uh, aerial duels than he actually is. Uh, he, when it comes to his numbers, he's actually in the bottom 7 percentile when it comes to aerial duels 1, uh, which is 1.22 aerial duels 1 per 90 minutes. Uh, to compare it with Varane, he has 2.22 per 90 minutes, and even Martinez, who is 15 centimeters smaller than him, um, has actually 1.27. Uh, had the aerial duels won per 90 minutes, which actually a little bit better than Tudibu. But looking at these numbers, we will of course not get the whole picture of what kind of player Jean-Claude Tudibu is, but it will give us like an indication of what kind of player we will be getting in this player. He's a strong, he's quick, uh, his tackling is great, his, his pace is very decent, and his passing, his passing ability is also amazing. So I feel like he's gonna, if he comes to United, he will fit the Ten Hag system perfectly, uh, which I know I can trust Ten Hag because I knew the moment I saw that we were uh, linked with him and uh, the sources were legit, I knew that when I looked into these numbers, he would suit us perfectly because in Ten Hag we trust, he knows what he's talking about. So thanks for watching. If you like this kind of content, please give me a like and subscribe on the YouTube channel. And until uh, next time, see you then.